for changing the no-fault insurance laws continues tonight, and a key vote could come as soon as tomorrow. It, it's become a heavyweight battle with wide-reaching implications, of course. Seven investigator Ross Jones is here now with a look at what's at stake. Ross. Good evening, guys. Insurance companies say these laws will make insurance more affordable, but doctors say it will bankrupt hospitals and make good care harder to find. Regardless of who you talk to tonight, this much is clear. Michigan's no-fault laws are on the fast track for big changes that will affect everyone. Special interests have been at war for weeks in Lansing, with the insurance and hospital industries duking it out over who has to pay what when we get hurt. And this is what they're fighting about. If you get into a car accident in Michigan, your insurance is supposed to cover claims up to $545,000. Anything above that is paid out of the catastrophic claims fund. Each of us pays into that, $184 per year that's taken out of our premiums. There's no public cry for reform. Public was satisfied with the no fault insurance program that existed for the last 40 years. But auto insurers aren't pleased with how the system works. They say no fault is unfair to them because under state law, they're required to pay more for medical benefits than Medicare or workman's compensation, and that's hurting their business. And our industry, actually, for auto in Michigan, has lost money over the last five years. Our last profitable year was 2007. Pete Kuhnmensch is the executive director of the Insurance Institute of Michigan. He says a CT scan that would cost $800 through a workman's compensation claim costs his insurers about $3,200. We're basically required to pay three, four, sometimes five times the amount uh, that other insurance payers pay for a medical service. Both sides of the issue are represented in Lansing, handing out campaign money early and often. Take a look. As lawmakers geared up for re-election last year, the Michigan Insurance Coalition kicked in more than 70 grand to lawmakers in just a few months. Most money from the insurance industry is funneled towards Republicans who are pushing these changes. Our political contributions kind of are dwarfed by the coalition that's opposing this legislation. The insurance industry doesn't hide from their donations, but they do say they're being outspent by the other side. Hospitals, for example, are fighting these reforms hard, in part because they could mean big reductions in what they can make. They say that if the cuts go too deep, some hospitals will close. Providers that end up caring for people that get the most severe injuries, like brain injuries and spinal cord injuries, um, as it's cur currently written, um, the reimbursement would be drastically cut at that level of care. And the hospital lobby is well represented in Lansing. Democrats have made out nicely thanks to donations from them, trial lawyers, and others. In the lead-up to last November's election, the Michigan Health and Hospital PAC kicked in more than 100 grand to lawmakers. This legislation, of course, has flown through Lansing. It was passed two weeks ago in the Senate, and the House was expected to vote on it as soon as tomorrow. But because of some enormous pushback from prominent Republicans like L. Brooks Patterson and others, everything has slowed down, and a vote tomorrow looks less likely. Either way, we'll be in Lansing tomorrow. Well, you wonder why the urgency? You do, and that's not really been explained by anybody so far, but boy, it's been a fast couple of weeks. All right, yes, thanks. Indeed.